You know, I'm thinking about this. The only time we've seen where the time travel actually has an impact on the future is the side quest. Actually, no, main story quest where we have to get the, the fucking seed and plant it here. I think without that, we have no... We have no... We have no precedent to know what kind of time travel story this is, right? Without that, we could assume that, oh, it actually just splits the timeline, which apparently is what happens in Ocarina of Time, so I don't know why it doesn't split the timeline here, but you know what? I guess it's because we may... You know what? The series is inconsistent with itself in its time travel. That's what I'm gonna say. My master has per may have perished in this age, but in the past, he let he lives yet. I'm taking the girl back through that gate to help me revive the Demon King. Actually, it's still inconsistent, because if we defeat Demise in the past, we would have had no reason to go in this fucking journey, which means there would be no reason for Skyloft to come back down to the ground. You know what? The more I think about it, the more, the more, the more this plot actually gets fucking stupid with this time travel. Holy shit. This is so incredibly stupid. What the fuck? None of this makes sense. <laughs> I am a Kingdom Hearts fan, and honestly, the Kingdom Hearts time travel actually makes sense to some degree. This is just being inconsistent with itself. Kingdom Hearts at least has some sort of rules with its time travel. It's confusing at first, there's a few retcons, but at least they're retcons and not like, this happened before Ocarina of Time, so when Ocarina of Time happens, apparently the, the rules of the world just get overwritten. Retconning doesn't make sense in this case. Anyway, um, 